Agriculture has a massive impact on our planetary resources. 70% of the Earth's fresh water is consumed by agriculture. 45% of the world's methane emission comes from agriculture. All these impacts will only increase as the population of the planet increases from 7.2 billion to 9.2 billion by 2050. For the entire paddy life cycle, farmers have to maintain a certain uh, layer of water on the surface of land so that uh, paddy is growing well, it is devoid of weeds and the productivity is higher. But as soon as you create a layer of water on the surface, it also creates anaerobic conditions for the methane generating bacteria to grow. We found that this is uh, something which can be tackled through science and through practices. Alternate wet and drying process is a water management practice and it promises to save about 15 to 30 percent of the water depending on the soils in which this paddy is grown. But what it also does is it reduces the methane emissions by 50 percent. AWD is an involved program which requires a considerable amount of documented proof. One such important item is to prove that a drying event took place at the farm. This requires documenting the water level at the farm. So we started giving them some locally made apparatus, which is more like a drying pipe. It is a perforated, perforated pipe which has to be installed in the field, but it has to be monitored. Uh, the monitoring is not that easy and many a times they are not well educated. So we had to run a massive education program during a drying event, they have to ensure that the water levels drop at least 10 to 15 centimeters below ground level and that they have to observe in these pipes. We have UPL meeting కొలుపు <laughs> The complex city came in when we had to document these uh, drying events with photographs. With the right latitude and longitude, the complexity was more in terms of geofencing these uh, fields. Field partners are extremely important, especially for a program such as AWD. They are involved in every element, right from making the pitch and educating the farmers about the program, to activities like installing pipes, geofencing the farms, and monitoring the water levels for documenting the drying events. Geofencing can be very challenging for a person to do, especially if you consider that it needs to be done in the middle of a farm, in the blistering heat, on a tiny phone. Using machine learning on satellite imagery, we have managed to identify farm boundaries. For now, these exist as suggestions for partners to choose, which they can edit in case they feel that these need to be corrected. In the future, when more of this data starts coming in, we hope that the systems will be able to directly create geofences. Traditional wisdom which has driven the paddy ecosystem till today. But once we start putting some of the practices like AWD and DSR, it will not only enhance the profitability of farmers by reducing the cost of plant protection chemicals, by reducing the cost of water itself in future. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. And Nurture and UPL has taken a gigaton challenge, which is to reduce 1 billion tons of emissions or sequester into the soil. 
we need many other corporates to join hands with us to solve this climate change problem.